Hey, it's Chris McNamara, owner of Super Topo, and uh, these are the solar panels I just put on the Super Topo World Headquarters, aka my house. Uh, we're a small operation. And um, I'm going to give you a little tour. So uh, i got 14 panels here. Uh, why did I do it? Uh, mainly because I've just always loved solar panels, and the closest I've been able to get to them are uh, doing the, the solar review on uh, portable solar panels. But uh, we got our house, me and my wife, and so we got the opportunity to uh, actually put these on. Uh, so they're cool, that's a big part of it, but also it's a really good return on investment, really long term, uh, not short term necessarily, but it all comes down to how you calculate it. I, I got into way too much detail on the uh, trip report below. Um, and then lastly, the environmental benefit. Uh, we now uh, have a meter that spins backwards. We're not using, we're, we're producing more power than we use uh, when you look at it throughout the whole year. So psyched on that. I have an electric bike and I like the fact that I'm uh, powering my electric bike with the power off my roof. Uh, so let's take a tour of the system and uh, I'll show you all about it. So before we could even put on the panels, we had to redo the roof. Our roof was in bad shape and uh, when you put a solar system that lasts 25 years on top of a bad roof, it's a recipe for disaster. So we got to use this really cool material that uh, it's, I don't know if you can tell, it's basically like a river raft or a haul bag. And uh, it's called TPO. It reflects 95% of the uh, sun's heat. And what that means is that during the summer, our house is gonna stay a lot cooler. I think someone should uh, see if they can make a haul bag out of this, because it's, uh, it's very similar material very bomber. Here we are below the panels looking at the inverters. Instead of one central inverter, each panel has its own micro inverter. We had to do this because you can see over here there's some uh, trees that block the panels just a little bit in the winter months. And so uh, if you do a standard inverter, just one panel not producing well will bring down the whole system. If you have a micro inverter, each panel is independent and so some of them can be kicking butt while other ones lag and overall uh, the system's producing very efficiently. Another cool thing is that it, when you have microinverters it lets you uh, check how each panel is doing at every second during the day on your uh, iPhone or on your computer. So here is the meter. If uh, we'd done this a few years ago we'd have a meter that had dials that would be spinning backward, but because we're in the digital age, uh, you have to look for just a little arrow that's pointing out that right now we're generating more power than we're using. We're feeding it back to the grid, and uh, it's cool because you get to sell it back generally at a high price during the day and then buy it back at night at a low price uh, and be your own little uh, power company, power investor. So that is my uh, solar panel trip report. I have a full kind of detailed write-up that uh, you're either looking at right below this video or if you're on YouTube, I uh, hope you'll click on the link and check it out. I also have a big review on portable solar panels, put a lot of time into comparing all the best ways to generate power if you're hiking or backpacking. I uh, hope you'll check that out at OutdoorGearLab.com and please uh, send this to a friend and uh, send me an email if you have any questions or uh, comments or corrections. Uh, thanks a bunch.